and welcome to me and my golf TV. It's Thursday, that means it's my swing analysis. I'm Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Proudman, and yes, it is your swing analysis. We've taken a look at uh -oh. Piers' golf swing today uh, to show you some of the changes that he can make this year to get better. Let's take charge of your game. So welcome to my swing analysis. So this is where we analyze your golf swing, but today, as you can see, we are not. We're analysing your golf swing. You I, are the, I enter the competition. You're every the competition week. winner, Pierce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we thought we'd do one for Pierce today, and just obviously we done one for me a, a couple of weeks ago, showing you the changes that I'm sort of working on through the winter. Um, so I thought, well, it's only fair, Pierce, that we go through yours and it's some of the changes that fair. you're going to do through uh, through this season. So, Pierce, you've made some changes over the last. Yep. Over last year, yep. um, I suppose that was almost phase one. Now it's yeah. into this season. We're going to change a few kind more phase things. Two. Isn't it? Yeah, so, definitely. Um, as always, we, the, the number one thing when we're, when we're sort of speaking to people about changing the golf swing is what do you want to improve? What is your bad shot? What are your goals? So, Pierce, talk us through um, what you want to improve. Well, well, do you know, originally, so the beginning of last year, I wanted to be a better iron player in that I wanted to be able to play a draw comfortably. I could draw the ball, but I couldn't play it comfortably. So if I had a left to right wind, I really wasn't able to hold the ball up against the wind. I would always have to use the wind. So I worked at shallowing my golf swing. So shall I actually just go with... Yeah, let's go with what you changed. With, with, ...with an iron first of all. So I've got a four iron here. So I worked really hard last year on getting my downswing into this sort of position here. So you can see the shaft and the club head as I swing down are swinging down more underneath the plane. So I was working really hard to shallow the golf club there. I would tend to be a little bit steep, not necessarily over the top of the swing plane, but quite steep there. And that would very, make it very difficult for me to play that soft draw. So I worked really hard at getting that shallow draw. So I achieved that. So I suppose this year what I want to do is I want to make sure that I can continue to play that shape still, but I also want to make sure, I just want to get more consistent. Maybe with the driver, I can still hit bad drives. I mean, I know when we went to Turkey, a couple of the matches there, I was struggling with the right shot. Yeah. And I was driving well before I got there, and then when I got there, first few games, I was leaving it out to the right, yeah. but I'm equally conscious that it could go left as well. So for me to have the right and the left in my game is the is end of. Okay. So I need to get rid of one of those shots. Which one do you want to get rid of? That's the question. I'd rather get rid of the left, even okay. though the right probably happens a little bit more. Yeah. The left is the one that is the fear. The right's almost. the safer one, isn't it? Right is like. the safer one, it's yes. much easier to control that little bit of a it push is. than that hook, really. It is. Okay, so um, let's talk about them, Pierce. Um, let's talk about your golf swing. Let's yeah. have a look on the camera, shall we? Yeah, of course. And look at the video, what we've got. So as we go into it, Pierce, the backswing's pretty good now. It's on plane. It's yeah, nice, the club's yeah. in a good position on the way back. Uh, the top of the golf swing, Pretty good here. Club gets a little laid off, but really not an issue in the golf swing no. because as you start the downswing, you get the club into a great position, as we can see. Pretty much on plane with this driver swing that you mm -hmm. did here, yeah? Um, but as we get down to impacts, again, real solid at impact. And then through the hitting area, all the way through to the finish, it actually looks like a, a pretty good golf swing, doesn't it? So Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> when, we are, when your plane is this good, but you're still missing the ball right and left, yeah then it's not a plane issue, it's more of a face issue, isn't it? Absolutely. So, and um, a contact issue as well. I do get a little bit toe strikes little bit toe, as well. Yeah, which yeah, will definitely, influence yeah. it. So if we can look at really more of the face, what's happening through impacts, yeah. let's talk about how we can improve that pierce in terms of making this more consistent. So you can hit the ball right and left, more to do with what this face is doing. Definitely. And we can see that, that you know, when we, when, we, when we always look at my video, that there's a lot of rotation of the hands. So my hands do rotate fast through the ball. So I, I know maybe that's from all the other sports I've done as well. But my technique as well, there's obviously a little bit of saving going on as yeah. well. But there's a lot of rotation. I would like to see less of that. It's great for distance. Correct. But maybe if you want to hit the ball a little straighter, it's something that we need to work at. Okay, so, so a lot of rotation through impact. So as you mentioned there, you, can, you, you require a lot of timing. So you can have days where you could absolutely nail it because you time it well. But if you're not quite on, when there's so much face rotation, there can be a few wayward shots. Yeah, so if we can get less face rotation through the ball and keep you playing good, then you're going to be uh, hitting be it a lot straighter. I'll be happy. Okay, happy. so let's go through um, the, what you want to change then, Pierce, and, uh, and go through how you're feeling, what you're well, doing do you to know work what? on that. I think you're right there with the feeling. I know that, as, the, as we can see, the path is pretty good. We know that when I've taken my, my track man numbers, the path is saying that it's a little bit too much to the right um, on average. Now, so for, for me, what I want to do is I want to create a feeling. Now, a lot of the best players have done this, so I'm actually going to use something that Jack Nicholas 
did. And this is a quick story about how he, he you know, someone at once asked him, how did he win all those majors? And he actually said, well, the main thing was, I felt that I never hit it left on the back nine in a major championship. And the way he did that was the feeling of through the ball that he didn't rotate the club face. He kept the club face going up straight to the target. Now we know no one does that. No one will ever do that, and if you did, you would hit bad shots. But what it was for him was a feeling of him not letting the club pass his hands. So basically, it looks a little bit like this, and I'm going to do it in a little mini shot, which is something that I am going to do. So as I swing through, the feeling is, and you can see where the ball went there to the right, that I'm not really rotating that face. So I'm sort of holding that off. Now, the byproduct of that is that you can see that my body, my torso, has rotated more. So if I can actually speed this up and slow that down, so if I were to actually get that sort of movement there or that feeling, that's going to be a lot more consistent for me. So it's more rotation of the body and less rotation of the club face. And I think it was his right hand that he said he wanted to sort of right palm to face the sky, was it, Nicholas, yeah. where we know that doesn't happen in the golf no. ring, but that was his feeling in order to actually create less rotation and, fear and sort of not hit that shot to the left. So something, I think... If Nicholas has done it, it's got to be pretty good it's, for you. you know, if, he, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. <laughs> so, um, less rotation, Pierce, in the face. What does it feel like? I have a few swings here now. And just yeah. give us the sort of the feeling that you're having with this. And it, and it does it does feel as though I'm actually saying, if, if I, I mean, I used to play a bit of cricket when I was younger. Imagine, um, apologies if you don't know, but imagine you're playing baseball, cricket, and all the fielders are over here on the left-hand side. I feel as though the ball cannot go towards there. So I'm actually, yes, I'm getting my body and facing it left, turning it left quicker, but my club face is actually not going to the left as much. So I feel that the ball just cannot go to the left. So again, chest is turning and the club face feels like it's being held off, I suppose. And do you feel phrase. quieter with the hands in terms of speed? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, they do feel a little bit quieter as far as that rotation is concerned. So this possibly, possibly may take a little bit of speed out, not massively, but you know what, you could sacrifice five yards if it meant, if it meant you was going to hit a couple yeah. more fairways. Yeah, and do, you, and do you know what, though? I'm not going to stop my hands rotating no, no, fast. No. They are going to do it. What I need to do is just minimize it a Definitely. little bit. So, so I just need to slow it down a little bit. Just reducing it. Okay, so let's, let's fire a shot, a shot yeah. away. Yeah. So this is you feeling that palm to the sky, Nicholas yep. drill, if you like. There we go. Soft fade. And that's exactly what we expect to see, Pierce, doesn't it? So that little bit of a left to right shot. Yeah. And as you mentioned, you're taking out the left side of the course then. Do you know what? We always talk about this. If you can stand on the tee and know, know your miss is going to be one side to the yep. right or to the left then it's so much easier than actually hitting it both sides so we, confidence wise as well without doubt now we don't play tournament golf anymore it's been a few years since we played the last tournament but you know what we would if i was playing a tournament tomorrow that would be my swing thought because i know i could actually aim myself to the left and hit it as hard as i like with that feeling and i know it wouldn't go down the left it would start left and then get the fade for me so that that, that would be my swing thought especially so, okay, maybe a good one to do under some pressure so, when when you're down in a match against me or something Possibly. That's never going to happen this year, Andrew. <laughs> what are you on about? But no, so it's, it's interesting that, yes, we got the technical data about what was going wrong with the goal swing and what I could do better, but then it was a very simple feeling, a very simple feeling. So not so much, I, mean, I suppose it was a drill in doing the little mini shots. That's a good way to start my practice sessions. But for me, it is really about getting that feeling to take to the golf course. OK, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on with that this year. So we may even do another swing analysis yes. halfway through the year to see how we both well, get actually, on with the changes. Well, actually, next week as well, we are playing a bit of golf, aren't we? So we'll be in Orlando, won't we? Oh, yes, we will. Yeah, next so week we'll be Orlando. playing some golf courses. So uh, a chance <laughs> to test it out. Might be a little bit too soon for that. So just in case <laughs> I hook one, then, you know, it's just too soon. <laughs> OK, guys, make sure. Um, actually, what, what do you think of Pierce's change there? Post your comments down below. But also, if you want to get involved and have the chance to win a swing analysis in my swing analysis, Make sure you go to Facebook, Twitter and Instagram today and enter the competition and it could be you that we're analysing up here. So, hashtag um, my swing. Hashtag my swing analysis. analysis. Okay guys, thanks for watching that. Again, make sure you post your comments, give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.